Columbus, we have Addie Banks, uh, senior forward for the Habersham Central Lady Raiders. Addie, thank you so much for your time and, and being on Blitz. Of course. Let's talk about um, this offense has been insane for several years now, but um, 66 goals uh, to date at the time of this recording. What is it like for you being a forward in this kind of offense? Uh, what is it like having so many people that can contribute to that? It's, it's awesome because it's not just like one person scoring like you have to have multiple people like assisting and passing and it's just it's really great to know that there are other people who can contribute to the team to score and stuff like that. Cool. Alright so Addie, uh, some teams have a team motto that they kind of center around every year. Y'all don't really have one of those but what's been one of the consistent messages or something that you've heard coach say quite a bit that y'all have sort of taken in? Um, my coach, we call him Reno, he, he tells us to get mad before games. It's just a way to like, you know, fire us up to get ready for the game and, and just wants us to work hard and, you know, work for it, <laughs> work for the win. Yeah, and that, you need that extra motivation sometimes. Yeah. Uh, so being that you win the region title <laughs> means you're a one seed, obviously. Uh, it goes without saying it's important to be able to host the first two rounds mm -hmm. of state, barring that you win the first one. but. How important is that to be able to have the home crowd uh, with you? And, and then uh, beyond that, what is the drive this team has to get past that Sweet 16 round? It's really nice to be able to host the first round of playoffs because, you know, we have, we have obviously the crowd that cheers for us and, you know, does all this work to help us support, support us for our game. And it's just, it's really nice to not have to drive anywhere super far and to, be comfortable on our field and you know we know how it works and yeah. it's comfortable for us and it's really nice to be able to play on our field for the first mm -hmm. round. How badly do y'all do y'all want to get past the second round? I know that's you've been there before but to do something you've already got the region title which is the first mm -hmm. ever right. how, how badly do y'all want to get past the Sweet 16 also? I'd say everybody would love to get past the first second round even mm -hmm. of state it would I think it would be really it would be a really nice way to tie off the season yes. after winning region. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, so y'all got the chance to go to Italy, which so many people are jealous that y'all got that opportunity, but yeah. also happy for you because that's once in a lifetime. Uh, uh, nice. What was that trip like for you personally? And uh, what, what do you think your biggest takeaway, like what was your favorite part about Italy? Um, biggest takeaway was probably just seeing how the girls soccer program is compared to the guys because here I feel like you know it's pretty balanced like you know we both get a lot of recognition mm -hmm. but over there it's it's really different mm -hmm. um, most of those girls just started playing soccer like a few years ago and it's just it's just interesting to see that and mm -hmm. makes you thankful that you know we're here and right. stuff like that but it was cool we were like celebrities over there to them. They're like asking for our autographs and everything. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> it, was, it was really fun, yeah. Soccer was probably my favorite part about that trip. How many autographs did you sign? I, uh, I don't think I was asked, but there was a few. <laughs> there was a few other girls that were asked. Um, and then we like traded jerseys and stuff. That oh, cool. was pretty cool. Awesome. Uh, so for you, you, you had the uh, talent that God's given you to be able to play at the next level, and mm -hmm. so you're going to make that a reality and go to Piedmont yeah. right down the road. So I'm sure your parents love that. Um, talk about that recruiting process for you and, and why you chose Piedmont. Um, well, I started out just kind of looking around at schools just to see what I would like and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Um, the main thing for me was making sure that the school I was going to go to had nur a nursing program because that's what you know I want to do in the future. Um, and Piedmont has a great nursing program. I used to do um, like training sessions with the coach, the head coach at Piedmont when I was little and so I've known him for a while. He's really nice and they made it really welcoming for me and it was, it was a pretty easy decision to go there. Well, congratulations on, on a fantastic senior year and can't wait to see what y'all do the rest of the way. Thank you. Thank you.